Jay Drone here, this is Dio Sunma, and we are going to uh, kind of fly this on the edge. I like to live life on the edge, so we're going to take the drone to the edge. I'm going to kind of push the limits a little bit, but not too much. And uh, the edge that I'm speaking about, you'll see in a minute here, it's actually a cliff. It's a huge drop off. As you can see, the earth kind of ends over there. Huge drop off of a cliff. It is very windy up here. I guess the wind gusts kind of travel down from the valley and straight up the cliff. So, uh,. Definitely got a lot of wind to deal with, but this drone is rated to be able to fly in wind, and it's kind of bouncing up and down. See, it bounce up and down. If your drone does this, and you're trying to figure out why it's not hovering, there's a very good possibility that you don't have your altitude hold on. I didn't have my altitude hold on, so I'm turning my altitude hold on. And uh, we're going to get this back in the air. This is from what my action camera sees. It's a very nice action camera. It picks up the blue in the sky very nicely, actually a little bit better than my head cam does, and it's a better quality. Uh, I should actually probably get one of these for my head cam, and that way I'm dealing with the same quality on both. But, look at that. This is the whole reason I came up here. I came up here to get an epic view. And see that view? That is epic. And I'm not flying high at all. If, if, I'm, if I'm pushing a 100 foot mark, that's pushing it. And down there you can see the interstate, you can see the cars going, see that semi uh, tractor trailer with like a reddish orange back to it camera on this is awesome the flyability of this drone is awesome it's chalked to the teeth with features um i'd say 80 percent of the features work really well uh that i've tested i have a test video on it the one i bought is the one with the egg camera gimbal on it the quality of the egg camera is good but the brush gimbal not so great so if you're going to pick this up if you want if you don't have an action camera, you could probably get the gimbal, then you just got to unplug two servo wires, and then you can use the camera on it like I'm using an action cam. Or both models come with this action cam hookup where you can put an action cam in it and fly it just like I'm flying it. I prefer to fly it this way. I've had most success this way and best image quality this way because this camera is a little bit better than what it came with. And there's a good look at it. Those huge legs on it, the arms on it, the prop guards. I've left the prop guards on. They're very easy to take off. I think this looks super cool. And there you go. You can see me kind of flying over the edge. We do have a plane flying overhead. I was very well aware of where I'm flying. It's a nice day. I'm near an airport. I should not be flying near an airport, but I feel I'm flying responsibly here, and I'm not going to push that ceiling of more than 100 feet. I'm keeping this low. I do not want to interfere with it, the airspace of the airplane because uh, people are going to be jumping out of that airplane because they're skydiving, and because, again, I would be flying in his airspace. So I'm keeping a very low ceiling here, that's about as high as I'm going to push it right there. We're not going to go sky's the limit because there's planes in the sky and I don't want to be that guy. Pennsylvania guy flying drone flies into, uh, flies into plane and planes down and five people are dead. Yeah, I don't want that on my chest. I don't want that on my conscience. And uh, I also wouldn't want to deal with the legal ramifications of doing that. So again, fly safe, guys. Know where you are. Know what's around you. And uh, again, there's a really good look at this drone. It's a really nice drone. We'll show you uh, kind of what it sees flying around these uh, houses here. Kind of got the backdrop to the left. You have the houses. Very nice picture quality. A lot of people say, oh, the Alcenema is not a good video drone. I've made some epic videos with this drone. I like this drone. It's a fun flyer. It's a sport flyer, and it can support a camera. It has GPS hold. It has altitude hold. Um, it has follow me. It has circle around a perimeter or fixed point circling. Like, this is chalked to features at a lower level. The features are at a lower level than your Phantom, but the cost of this drone is also at a lower level. So that, that should be expected. All in all, it's one of my top favorite drones. Obviously, the Phantom's up there, too. The Phantom's one of my favorite drones. This is going in order. I would say Phantom, Al Senma, and then I have a couple smalls that I like to take with me on road trips. Uh, the Hubson, Isheen, uh, E40G I like to take because it has an excellent camera. It's super small. Um... But yeah, have a look guys. I haven't flown over 100 feet and I've got an epic footage. It's all about the territory that you are in. If you're in a flat area, you're gonna get flat footage. If you are in a mountainous area, 
If you're in a cavernous area, you're going to get some dope footage because you're going to have contour of the land. You're going to have dips. You're going to have mountains and whatnot. It's very easy to fly these and get epic footage. You don't have to travel far. All my videos are close to home, three to five miles from home with the except occasions of my abandoned flies where I decide to go elsewhere and fly in abandoned buildings and whatnot. A lot of those I did travel a little bit just to get the footage. But uh, look at this. Super windy, flying really nice. We're gonna go ahead and set it down here. Battery's not done. I probably got another 10 minutes on the battery here, but uh, wife's in the car, so we're gonna head home. Hope you enjoyed this, guys. If you haven't joined Drone Days on Facebook, please do. If you haven't subscribed, please do, and have a wonderful day.